what is going on YouTube, Supreme Guru here and I'm back with another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about Gboard which is the greatest keyboard that you can use for your Android or, or your iOS device. So if this is something that you're interested in then stay tuned to this video. Okay guys so what I'm going to do first of all is delete Gboard from my phone so that I can show you how exactly we set this up. So let's just uninstall this. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. Perfect. Okay, so now that that is gone, we're gonna set it all up, okay? So let's go to Gboard again. Okay, so whenever I type it in, Gboard is automatically uh, built into my OnePlus 5T. However, it may not be built in to your phone that you're using so you may not get this here little option that comes up um at the bottom here so automatically share some don't even know how to pronounce that word snippets of what and how you type in google apps to improve gboard i'm going to hit no thanks okay now you can see that automatically loaded up my gboard however that may not happen on your phone so what you will want to do is hit up your settings and you want to scroll down Sorry. until that was my Google Home Mini. I apologize for that. So anyway, what you want to do is go down until you find language and input. So I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to, you see where it says in the middle there, keyboard and input methods. I'm going to hit virtual keyboard. Okay. So there you can see that I have got my keyboards. Your keyboard layout might look a bit different depending on what keyboard that your phone is built in with. I'm going to select Gboard and then in here we can go into the settings. So first and foremost we've got languages. So I've just got it set for English UK because that is the only language that I can speak. Um, but you can obviously select what language you want and there is so many languages you can choose from. Okay so that's the first good thing that you can select what language um, that you want to type on. The next thing we're going to go into is preferences okay so customize input styles um, you've got German QWERTY and French QWERTS have no idea what that means I don't touch that and then here where it says keys number row always show number row in QWERTY so I am going to select that one because I want to see the number row I don't want to have to long press my numbers to get my numbers up show emoji switch key so when emoji switch key is enabled the language switch key cannot be shown again like i said i can only speak english so that's not going to affect me in any way whatsoever so i'm just going to keep that switched on voice input yes i love voice input which i'll be going through with you uh, in a bit but i'm going to keep that switched on and then we've got show emojis in symbols keyboard so show recently used emojis in suggestion strip of symbols keyboard i don't put that option on so i'm just going to keep it blank uh one hand up mode i'm actually going to switch this on because i found recently um i'm i actually need to use one hand up mode now and again so it will ask you are you right handed or left handed i'm going to put right handed and we'll keep that on now uh, another thing here we've got the keyboard height i like to keep mine because i've got a quite uh, quite a big phone the oneplus 5t has got a, quite a big display i like to keep my um keyboard height short um, if you've got a smaller phone or if you find it hard to uh, press the buttons without hitting another button you maybe want to move that until uh, the other part of the slider where it says tall so i'm just going to hit the okay there um, okay, so sound on key press. I absolutely despise having any sound on my keyboard whatsoever. Vibrate on key press. Um, I hate that too, so I'm just going to turn that off. But I mean, you can you can keep that on if you prefer to um, get like a vibration whenever you hit a key. So I'll switch that off. Pop up on key press. So basically, what that means is whenever I hit a letter it'll pop up the letter that I'm typing so that I know that I'm hitting the right letters. I'm going to keep that on. Long press for symbols. I keep that off. I don't really use symbols um, on my keyboard. 
and then you can actually set how long you want to press so that you can get that option up. So we'll come out of there, that's the preferences. Now we go to the theme. Now, what you can do here is you can change the colors of your keyboard to make it stand out a bit. Um, or you can also uh, put in a little picture. It was pretty neat if you put in a picture. If you scroll right to the end, you see there's a lot to change from. So if I hit show all, da 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 da, gives you those. Customize, where it says customize at the very top, I can actually choose my um, pictures that I have in my gallery if I want something specific. So say for example, I want a picture of my dog on my keyboard. I could do that if I really wanted to, but I'm not weird like that. Um, so yeah, um, because I've got like a bluish background wallpaper on my phone, I like to choose the blue keyboard. Um, and then if you hit keyboarders here, you can see that that sort of makes the um, the letters stand out a bit more. I like to have keyboarders on, so I'm going to hit apply. Let's come out of there. Um, and then let's go to text correction. Okay, so show suggestion strip. Display suggestion strip by typing. So say for example, I'm typing the word hello. It's going to give me, um, and I'm not typing it properly, it's going to give me a suggestion strip so that I can choose the word that I'm going for. I, I like this because it's easier to type. Um, sometimes whenever you're typing very quickly, you're maybe missing a button or two. Well, Gboard basically tries to guess what you're typing. Next word suggestions. I keep that on. Um, again, use the previous word when making suggestions. So again, it's trying to guess what you're um, actually trying to type. Block offensive words. This is a good option. Um, so I keep that switched on. Show emoji suggestions. So what that means is, say for example, um, I, I'm typing the word dog. Well, basically, once I type the word dog, it actually shows up on my keyboard um, a picture, like an emoji of a dog. So that's pretty cool. I like to have that on. Uh, suggest contact names. So if you're typing uh, a name in your keyboard and you um, have this switched on, Basically, Gboard will pick up your contact list and select the person that you're trying to type the name of. Personalize suggestions, so learn from Google Apps and Services and your type data to improve suggestions. I like to keep that switched on. Auto correction, again, I like to keep it switched on. Spacebar and punctuation, insert highlighted word automatically. Auto capitalize your words after each sentence, yes, I like to keep that on. And then the double space can, um, if you tap the double space bar, it will automatically give you a full stop. So that's that. Glide typing, I like to keep glide typing on because sometimes it's a lot easier to uh, glide type rather than normal type. Again, I will go through all this here whenever I actually bring up the keyboard, but I'm just going through the settings first of all. So let's come out of there. Uh, voice typing. Select your language, block offensive words, da 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 da. Search, oh, clicked the wrong one there, sorry. Dictionary, yeah, um, personal personal dictionary, add on, <coughs> excuse me, add on dictionaries, sync learned words, let's keep that on. Um, select my Google account, that's fine. Uh, so it just means that, like, basically, if I'm using Gboard on a tablet or something, that it's going to sync um, the words that I'm typing on the tablet also to my phone. Uh, search, so predictive search, suggest Google search queries as you type in supported languages. Show and search, uh, that would be good if I could speak, show search and more button. So basically it's I will sh I will go through this, but basically whenever you're searching for something, it gives you an option to search from Google just on your keyboard and we'll go to advanced. So emoji with the physical button, physical alt key shows the emoji board. Show app icon in the launcher, I keep that off. I have no need for it to show up in my apps. Share usage statistics, I'm gonna take that off. I don't like having that on. And share snippets, automatically share snippets of what and how you type in Google Apps to improve Gboard. Uh, again, I'm going to keep that switched off. 
So let's come out of there and let's just go to a text message, okay? Uh, and we'll come out of there and we'll just create a new text message. Okay, so here you can see that it's on the one-handed mode. Now, if I wanted just to put it back to a normal keyboard, the icon in the top left-hand corner, we'll switch it to um, the standard layout, okay? Now, as you can see here, this is perfect. This looks the way that I want it to look. I've got my blue background, so on and so on. So when I'm typing a message, you can see it's giving me suggestions. Hello, hi, or you. And you can see that it's trying to guess what I'm trying to say. So that's the first thing. The double tap, oh, the double tap the space bar does the full stop. If you actually swipe across on the space bar, you can get to um, use that as a cursor. So say for example, I've misspelled R, it's easy to uh, go through your letters. So like I said, that's just a swipe on your keyboard. The X button here is your delete button. Hold it in, it can delete really quick. As you can see, I've got my number um, numbers at the very top of my keyboard. The little smiley face here will give me uh, emojis. I can search emojis on the search bar up here. I can actually search for a GIF. So say for example, uh, high five GIF. We'll hit that little search button and it will search for a high five. You can see that there's loads to choose between. There we go. So that's pretty neat and handy. And then you can get the little uh, symbols showing up for your smiley face. I'm just going to hit ABC to go back to the keyboard. This button here is where you can stick on capitals. If you want to keep it all on capitals, you double tap it so that you're constantly tapping on capitals. Come off of that, Google. So you can actually search. So say for example, uh, BBC weather. You can search just from your keyboard and it'll bring up BBC weather website if you want to share that with somebody. So on and so on. You just tap onto it. Okay, so we'll come out of there. Perfect. Um, let's go back to ABC. What else have we got here? Oh yeah, the voice activation. So now if I hit this little microphone, it won't work because, oh, it is working, is it? Ah. Hello, how are you today? You see how easy that is to actually use the, um, the microphone so I don't even need to type I can just say hey what is up guys there so easy to do um, I recommend anyone to use that now the glide type <coughs> excuse me the glide type in so if I swipe across the words that I'm wanting to type hello hi are you you can see that that's a lot easier than typing Hello, hi, or you. Okay, so, and, and all you do with glide typing is just basically swipe the words that you would use. It's a lot quicker to um, type that way, so uh, I like to keep that on. So, guys, that is just a quick tutorial on using Gboard. Like I said, you can use this for iOS on your iPhone and you can also use it for your Android devices. It's one of the best keyboards I've used and I will continue using this. So guys, if you find this video helpful in any way whatsoever, then give the video a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that, then go ahead and do that also. Um, I will leave a link down below on the microphone that I'm using for my YouTube uh, channel. So basically, if you are new to YouTube and you want a reasonable um, priced microphone to use, then this is the mic that I use. It's called the Samsung Go Mic. Now, don't get that mixed up with the Samsung Go Mic, like Samsung, the actual brand. It's Samsung. But like I said, I'll, you, I'll pop the uh, link down in the description below on where you can buy that. Until next time, guys, you have been watching Supreme Guru. Thanks for watching. Peace.